first time I laid my eyes on you, I must say I was a little shocked and slightly confused. The man that appeared before me was not at all what I was expecting to see. Your slender build and close shaven face, the cold closed expression on your face gave you the impression of being physically neat or at least seemingly neater than the others around me. I was expecting a man who was as black as can be, or at least as black as the boy's faces I see. Not a man who was pale, not as pale as me, just paler than what I thought him to be, who up close looked distinctly Chinese. As I continued to watch from beneath lowered lash, it seemed more interesting as a matter of fact. The way you move, the way you look, left me intrigued and dare I say hooked. The first time you called upon me, I must admit, I was elated with glee. As I rode the distance towards your house, the early excitement started to cloud. My once pounding heart became listless now. I wonder if I can turn back somehow. Knowing it was much too late, I kissed him. I was taken aback by the way she kissed. Wasn't she supposed to be accustomed to this? The tales of lovers from Morocco. I know now that it was all just bravado. I pushed her back and led her inside. I wanted to see what this white woman had to hide. Desire to us. Was this short awkward scene Like a double death Of short rapid breaths That was over Before it began And left us vexed And wanting But not From each other's hand I watched the greedy bitch leave through tightly clenched teeth The anger still burning at the humiliation I feel my hatred runs deep for this white trash. How dare she treat me like one of her Englishmen? I vow she would pay, just wait and see. My vengeance is sure as hatred consumes me. A sharpened dagger rips through my heart as I watch the white rat finally depart. His words and actions cut me deep stealing my emotions and making me weak. The betrayal I feel shreds my gut and I scream at him not to touch. It's all her fault, this white rat. I'll kill her, I swear, and that's a fact. The delirium I felt for this man had passed. What the hell was I thinking as a matter of fact? I rode the taxi into town and I can't help admitting I was rather let down. The man who had seemed so interesting to me was nothing more than a pretender, I see. But I must admit to myself at least that I am still just a little intrigued. I intended to leave, I made up my mind, but I had to see him for one last time. I picked up the phone and gave him a ring, letting him know that he would see me soon. I exited the car and strode to the door and he came out and greeted once more. He knew already what I was here for. I ushered her inside, a glint in my eye, my excitement mounting and by God I knew why. I had to play it cool for a while I had to make sure she was caught by surprise. I kissed her then, her mouth opened wide. This greedy bitch is really not shy. I took her to the room where it all began and she didn't even know it was all part of the plan. She spread wide open in front of me, seeking control, ha, huh. just wait and see. We will play by my rules this time around. My blood ran cold as he whispered to me. This is not how I wanted it to be. I yelled and told him to stop. 
but he still entered in one sure thrust. Crying and yelling, it didn't matter how loud I screamed. Nobody came to set me free. I felt him pressing down as I tried to resist. The pressure of his body unbearable as he gripped my hips. He continued to thrust away as I fought and yelled, but it didn't matter. None came to help. Finally, he released me and I laid there in shock. But little did I know, I was all out of luck. I watched her scramble to gather her things. Delight made my eyes bright as the climax was in sight. I led her away to the place that was planned to exact my vengeance on this white woman. I led her to where my lover awaits to quell his anger and deep-rooted hate. As I saw her approach, my eyes burned with rage. I was getting to kill this white rat today. I watched as he grabbed her by the throat and held her dangling above the ground. Her mouth opened, but there was no sound. Kill her, he screamed at me as I ran, the blade of the cutlass glistening in my hand. I watched as he sped towards us. The set of his eyes betrayed his trust. Blade met flesh and then bone, repeated as many times as was told, until finally, with one last breath, my fist tightened around her neck. We watched as her eyes grew dim. And she crumbled into the dearth, small and thin. We stood in the harsh light and wondered. Was it enough to rip her asunder?